All right, everybody. This is Best in the Borough with another gameplay commentary. I got a uh, match on Array, a little TDM I was playing. Had this for a while, but uh, I apologize for everybody that was maybe expecting my video yesterday. I didn't get a chance to get it accomplished because I got stuck at work a little late. Um, somebody didn't show up, so it was a extremely ridiculous day. Um, then I ended up babysitting my friend's kid for a little while yesterday and uh was hanging out with his cousin and we were we were uh doing a little strategizing on maybe doing some grand theft auto 4 videos he's got some pretty good uh mods for grand theft auto 4 where you can do a lot of customization and uh just ridiculous kind of stuff which is definitely awesome and uh the pc version really comes with a great video editor which I did not know and it makes me really jealous because I wish the console version would have had it. It would have made it an even more um, exemplary awesome game. But um, I just want to talk about a couple things. i um, been playing a bunch of Battlefield 3 lately. Um, at first I was really loving the game but here recently I've been getting a little frustrated with it for the simple fact of squad chatting and um, nobody using microphones. So uh, if you're playing, if you're playing with a bunch of randoms by yourself, it, it typically sucks because nobody ever communicates. Um, right here, this is pretty cool. I uh, get a triple frag grenade. It looks similar to one I put in a montage a little while back, but it's actually a completely different triple frag grenade on array at the same location because the one in my montage was actually a game of domination on the same map. But this is a TDM. Um, I guess I want to kind of touch on Modern Warfare 3 a little bit. Um, I actually, I, I originally pre-ordered that game over a year ago. Um, and, you know, the closer it's getting, I don't know. Th th there was a while where I was disinterested in it and wasn't really looking forward to it, especially after Gears came out and Battlefield 3 came out. But with the way Battlefield 3 is going, um, I don't know. I, I'm kind of I'm kind of somewhat looking forward to Modern Warfare 3, but at the same time, I'm I'm kind of hesitant about getting it because I mean, personally, I think it looks just like an updated version of Modern Warfare 2. I mean, it looks like Modern Warfare 2.2, and I mean, to give us just one get new game type, it's just I, I think they're really dropping the ball. I mean, they're getting really lackadaisical and really really cheap with it because I mean, everybody knows they're going to sell hundreds of millions of copies first week. They're going to make billions of dollars, and they don't give us dedicated servers, and they still aren't giving us new original stuff. I mean, I would think in the, if, if you just talk to a lot of a mass of the community, they would have a lot of better suggestions and ideas and creations of things you could do than what the actual developers are releasing and putting into the game. Um, something else I want to talk about as far as Modern War th Warfare 3 goes. Um, there's been a lot of discussion and uh, a lot of stuff on Twitter and YouTube and everything about uh, people posting Modern Warfare 3 videos early and that they've, they've implemented a rule, I guess, that um, if you post anything be before 12 a.m. Tuesday Pacific Standard Time, then your channel could become banned and I don't know you could probably f suffer from uh, you could probably get sued by Infinity Warden and, and Activision which I think is a bunch of crap um, I kind of a, I kind of agree with some of the things I've seen uh, only using Blade put on Twitter as far as if if it was a movie or a book um, there wouldn't be as near as much scrutiny over, you know, early release because it's just going to build, it's going to build how much people are going to go out and get it anyway. Um, I don't know. I, I think they're kind of, I'm kind of looking at somewhat similar to, um, how when Metallica shut down Napster, you know, I mean, these people are billionaire mega giants. And yet, they're worried about small people trying to cut their teeth and trying to get some acclaim by having some stuff out first. I think it's a little crappy. Um, if anything, 
showing more stuff is just going to get more buzz around it and get more people interested in going out to buy the game. It really is. I mean, it's, I don't know. It's just like, there's, I mean, there's so many different things about it that really just kind of aggravate me and stuff, but I try to not dwell on that too much because I've been trying to get more positive with everything that I've been doing. Um, I'm really trying to pursue this. Uh, I've really, I've really reached a point where I've decided uh, I really don't like working for other people. Um, you know, I get tired of having medial jobs where, you know, you're just, you're just broke. You're just broke, and you do something that somebody else says to get a paycheck, and it's a bunch of crap. So, um, I, you know, I hope everybody likes my video. Last little thing I want to touch on before this video ends. Um, my last video is called "Who Shot You." And uh, that's a new little series I'm starting. Hopefully, I'm gonna, it's, it's probably going to carry over to Modern Warfare 3. Um, hopefully, I can do some Battlefield 3 with it as well. Maybe some gears. But um, it's a it's a creative idea I came up with of commentating from the perspective of the people I'm playing against, the enemies, things they say when they get killed. Um, I didn't I didn't want to divulge too much of it beforehand because I didn't want to put it out there the idea and let somebody else come out with it first and You know them get attention for it. I wanted it to be my thing It's kind of something I've had for a little while. I've been thinking about and actually got to fruition um, So if you would I, I wish everybody would go check it out. There's definitely gonna be more episodes of that um, Probably gonna have some new stuff coming in the works as well. So you know, just be sure to send, give it a like, rate, comment, like, subscribe. I do appreciate it. Thanks, everybody.